Hi, so this is going to be a video tutorial about how the new implementation of the electronic design is moved into Fusion. We're going to go through how we're going to make the schematic and design the PCB layouts, and then we're going to put that into the more of the Fusion workspace for the CAD, and then we're going to figure out how to CNC mill these kind of circuit board for circuitry. So the reason why we want to do CNC milling of CNC boards are, of course, because we might have it very cheap at hand and the local makerspace, as like the Fab Lab that I work for, you're able actually to make these PCB boards within a few hours. PCB boards today has been so cheap that you can easily order them from China, but if you want a prototype and you want something done quickly, this is a really good way of doing it. So what we're going to make today is one of my projects. So during my my engineer project, I built one of these uh, small cells here with basically four buttons inside, a, a NeoPixel ring, and a vibration module. But I built it from this kind of a prototyping board. And I would actually like to see it built in like more SMT components and a, a better way of doing this form factor. Of course, cutting this out in a circle was also kind of challenging topic, so that's why we want to do it on a CNC. So I did already do it in CAD, but I'm going to do it again just to make sure that I get all of you to stick along and tell you some of the tips and tricks. But this is basically what we're going to end up with. So the trick circuitry here in the bottom, and uh, this symbolizes the four buttons, five buttons, and then we have some pinouts here for connecting power and the NeoPixels and the vibration module. So we're going to start out with the schematic. So first of all, I'm going to close out of all of this and then I'm going to make a new example so we start from scratch. Okay, so the way that we make a new electrical design is that we go up here into file and we do new electrical design. The first thing that we're going to have here is we're going to have this pop-up box that contains both the schematic design and the PCB design and also the link into the, CAD, the mechanical CAD environment. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this. So I'm going to do this as electrical design example. Uh, two, I think actually I already called it this for, uh, for how I did this. And I'm just going to save it here at this location. That's all fine. And that's going to be saved. So first thing is a schematic design. So the schematic design that we're going to do is going to be built from an ATtiny, the small microprocessor that you can use there, and there's some different buttons and stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to have a frame around this so I can print an example of my schematic for later use. So I'm going to go into the add component here. Give it a second. So in here, I can search for different things. And one of the things in here there is called is called a frame. And there should be, there are a few of them here. So for example, this one is an A4 size, I assume. So frame A4, that's exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna place it here um, near the origin. And that's gonna give me like a printable and workable area where I can place the schematic. It's not needed, but um, I think it's a very neat thing to have. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to need is the AT Tiny. So I'm going to do AT Tiny like this. And if I search for that, I don't get any results. And it's because that equal is very sensitive that it's only going to search for this word. But if you're going to put an asterisk in like this, it means that there can be something in front of the word and something in the in the end of the word. So if I'm going to do hit enter for this, I should get some results. I do maybe have multiple libraries in here that you guys don't have, uh, and you're just going to have to look up on the internet, maybe search add library eagle, and that's going to give you the possibilities. But Fusion has a lot of these built in as well. I'm going to choose this one. I want an SMD component in this configuration. So this package looks fairly good to me. So I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to place that in my schematic design. The next thing I want is headers. I want quite a few of those. So I'm going to search header. And I'm again putting the asterisk in here. So 
just making sure that I get all the results. There's containing a header. Um, and here under connectors, I get these, these pin headers here. So I want one of these there for the power. I'm just gonna place that in here. And if I right click, I can, I can flip it around so I can rotate it by 90 degrees. So this is gonna be my power in. And then I want one for, for the vibration module. And then I want a, num a, a three header for the new pixels. I'm just going to place those over here. So the next thing I want is some some of these buttons. So I'm going to search for those. And there can come up quite a few, but I think the ones that I need are called momentarily buttons, or maybe it's called a switch. It's something. Here they are, momentarily switches. And the package that I want is this one here. So I want them to be through holes and, uh, and have these four pin connectors all the way around. I'm just gonna click that and then I'm gonna add in five of these switches. Just like that. And this takes up quite a bit of space, this momentarily switched name. So I'm just gonna edit that out. So if I click on it, I get in my right hand menu over here, I should get a possibility to turn on values. So if I click, had a bit of struggle with this before, but if I do, So the difference between this is clicking on the simple and clicking on the text. So if I click on the text, there is display values and I can turn that off. I'll just quickly go over that. Okay, so now it looks a little bit more clean. So how I'm gonna wire this is that I don't have I don't have that many pinouts for my AT Tiny over here. So actually making this so that all these switches has their own individual ports is gonna be a little bit uh, tight with the pinouts. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something a little different. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uh, use a voltage divider um, way of configuring all my buttons. So I will just draw it and then I can explain it in a little bit. So for um, finding resistors and stuff like that, I find it easiest to just do a, a resistor search, RE, I'm just typing it within this, it's gonna put me under R, and then I can find resistors here, and then I find resistors EU, that's the symbol that I want. And so I just scroll through this, you can see up here uh, what kind of but, um, resistors that I can add in. But I don't want these to be very big and through hole. I just want them to be an S and D. And I want them in the size that is called um, 0805. So I want this package size right here. That's a uh, fairly small, but still um, hand solderable. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna place a resistor with for each of these switches right here and then I'm gonna put one all the way here in the top and then I'm gonna find my supply voltages so I can inside here find supply and there supply one and two is so I'm gonna go on the supply one find a five volt connection and I'm gonna place those where I actually kind of need them so I need them here here over here, and I'm also gonna need one for each of these. And then I'm gonna put in a ground connection, G and D, I'm gonna put one of them here, another one here, here, and one down here as well, and I'm also gonna need one here. 
Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these buttons up here. Now I'm gonna have to wire everything together. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the net command, not the wire command. You can, you can accidentally in here type wire, and that's gonna give you the ability to do wires. But that's different, we use wires for the PCB ports and net functions for how we wire stuff in the schematic. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna wire all these switches up. Let's get close the inspector. So you see how this does the, um, it wants to go the opposite direction than I want. So if I just right click, that's gonna give me an alternative configuration. So that's, that's a quick little tip there. Okay, so what this acts as is it's a voltage divider. So I'm gonna to have to use an analog input for my AT Tiny, and then I'm gonna read the analog value to determine which button has been pressed. So that's just a way of making sure that I have, uh, that's just a, a way of having multiple buttons and only one input here into my micro microprocessor. So I'm not gonna go through sizing all these values, but you have to make sure that they are evenly spaced um, according to how many buttons you have, then that way you can configure them in different uh, configurations. Okay, and for this is going to be the new pixels. So I'm just going to first of all rotate this. So if I do just if I can type move, I can click on it and then I can right click to rotate it, and then I can do the net function and connect that to the two outer ones. I right click to, to make sure that it went like I want it. And for, oops, I'm also gonna rotate. So I just control C to, to, did that, uh, to undo. And then I'm gonna rotate this one as well and make a net command up here. For controlling a vibration module, that's quite a powerful thing, and I'm going to control it on, on the ground side. On the ground side, so I'm going to use an NPN transistor to do that. So for finding that, I'm just going to type NPN, and if I can find a small uh, package like uh, no, actually something that I want to have. This one, this has a built-in resistor into the, into the base, so I don't have to make an additional one because I just want this one to power on and off pretty. I don't need to control how much power that I'm pulling into it. So I can also just drag stuff if I just hold on to them and drag it, uh, but then I can rotate it by right-clicking. So I'm just gonna connect this up like this. So this means that if this pin goes high, that's gonna allow current to go out this pin here to go through the vibration module and flow to ground. So if I pull this one to, I put this one high, that's gonna effectively do that. So what I'm then also gonna do is I'm gonna add a pull down resistor to that. So I'm just gonna add a resistor here and I can drag these, these are all connected so they will like this, so a pull down resistor. For giving things value, you just type value, value, and then you can click on a resistor and I can give this a 10K pull down resistor. So that's a, that's a way of giving things value and you can do the same thing for, for these ones up here, but we're not gonna go through that. And then I'm gonna connect that up to my circuit board up here. I'm gonna connect up ground in VCC for the five volts to power here. And then I'm gonna have a pin header that actually has the power coming in from a battery or so I'm kind of gonna have to wire this. I can also find a battery uh, to do this. So again, move and I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna put this one so it's right there. And I'm gonna give power to that. 
Okay, so this is the schematic design. All done. And oh, I need the new pixels as well. So I need to connect the new pixel wire up here. I'm going to connect that to the, this one. So I still have three pinouts over here that I could actually use for something else, but I'm just going to leave those as not connected. And then I'm going to switch this into the PCB. And how we're going to do that is we just uh, we start by saving. And if I actually save it uh, from this one, the, the file that I already did, it notes it, it knows that it's tied to this one. So saving this automatically saves this one as well uh, with the same file name and in the same location. And now when I do switch to PCB mode, it's going to do it's going to open up a PCB and it's going to import all the components that I have over here. 